This is the book Draw 50 Aliens. Guess what's in this book? How many would you guess? And what are you supposed to do to them? Brilliant. Brilliant. Every last one of you, except one, and I'm not going to tell you who. Nah, you're all brilliant. Okay. <laughs> Everybody's... Okay. Nah. <coughs> week after week, children, I come to visit you, and what do I tell you about how big to draw? Big. You are to draw big, you are not to draw small. But every week when I come here, what happens? You draw too small. You draw too small. So, did I do this last week? I think I did. Yes. No, no. Children, children, children. When you draw your picture today, whether you've got a half piece of paper or a whole piece of paper, fill up uh, the piece of paper with the picture. It's easier to draw large pictures than it is to draw small pictures because you can fit the pencil into the nooks and crannies a lot easier. Does that make sense? Tell me it makes sense. Yes. All right. Now, if you look in the book, I'll show you the book again because I brought it with me. What the heck? The steps in the book are done in green, light green. And then the final part is done in dark black. Okay? What he's trying to indicate is that you should use really light lines to block in the picture and only use dark heavy lines when you're finishing it up. All right. So we're going to go very lightly. I'm going to simulate the light and the dark using a blue pen to start and then I'll finish with a black pen. How's that sound? Great. There we go. Excellent. Yes, yes, you have awakened. Beautiful. Okay. So we start. Just blast some lines down. Rat lines. Rat lines. Yeah, at, at least that large. Yeah. He's got kind of a beak thing, so we'll pull that out. He's got these ear things coming out the top of his head. So we'll sort of block those in. He's got chest bits. This pen is a little too light, I'm thinking. Hmm? I know, I can. we start adding some details so we see that he is starting to look like a bird, Thing. reptile, Thing. bug Thing. guy. Thing. I can't personally tell, not that I can't tell you, I would tell you if I could, but I, I can't tell if he intends for this chest piece to be a, uh, a, yeah, actually part of his thorax or if it's just supposed to be some kind of armor that he wears because he's a space guy. Space guy in armor. Do, 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 do. Space guy in armor sold separately by Mego. Yeah. What is that? Where could you buy him? No, it's just the way all the toy commercials used to be. It's like my action figure. The, the den, the den. I, my action figure is the den. It's a very mundane action figure. He's the den. He can drive to the school and he teaches a class. Den driving to a school and teaching a class at your playset. Class sold separately by Tony. Okay. These are all toy companies from when I was a kid. Most of them don't exist anymore. I should say Mattel, I guess. They're still around. By Whammo! Oh, my dad knows Mattel. Hmm? It still exists, though. Whammo's still around? Yeah, yeah. 
Whammo. Whammo's first big toy was the hula hoop. And then they came out with this super stuff. <laughs> you remember super stuff? <laughs> it was something, it, it came as a powder and you would add water to it and you'd shake it up and it was this foamy, terrible thing. I'm sure it was full of all kinds of toxic chemicals because they stopped selling it <laughs> eventually. But yeah, super stuff. That was cool. Or what passed for cool in the late 60s. Super stuff. I was back at a time when people played out of doors. Just like you see in the movies today, children. There we go. So we're just going through and adding more and more detail to our creature. He's got quite the beer belly on him. Perhaps it's a Moldovian... Apple Jack, I don't know. Now, what, what's nice about using your light lines to start out is you can overlap his arms pretty easily without having to worry about which one goes over which to start with. You just add the arms and then we'll go back figure out how they overlap. Just want to get in there and get his, get his hands on his hips. Right? And since I'm using those light lines when I make a mistake, I just fix it. Erase a little bit. Because we're always going to do some erasing. Pretty much through the end of the year, we'll always erase some of the lines because they're just guidelines. You get them nice and light, they're easy to erase. If you do heavy lines and then you try to erase them, you tear the paper, don't you? You hate that. You hate tearing the paper. I'm telling you, you do. You do. Okay. He's got four arms, but for some reason he's only got two spindly legs. He's a skinny guy for such a big belly. <coughs> Little bitty spindly legs. Only two toes. We'll call him Two Toes Magoo. And this guy has got a belly button. Birds don't have belly buttons. Neither do bugs. I just don't know why. Alright. So I have roughed in my space creature at this point. Remember children, the, the goal here is not to make a perfect copy. If I wanted a perfect copy, I you know what I would do? We made copies. That's why you all have a copy. If we wanted a perfect copy, we make copy. So tracing, no. Tracing, no good. If you trace the picture, you learn nothing except for tracing. Now tracing is something that professional artists do. Generally, though, they don't trace a drawing, they trace a photograph. So they'll take, if they want to draw a picture of a handsome guy, they'll take a photograph of a handsome guy and kind of trace around as a shortcut. But tracing the picture is definitely not the point here. What we're learning to do is block in a picture by doing the rough shapes and then finishing it off. This is extremely important 
for what we're going to be doing at the end of the year. Because at the end of the year, we're going to draw action figures and action poses. Yes. And if you know how to block them in, you'll be able to draw your heroic knight or your Amazon princess warrior in whatever pose you want. But we have to build up to that. I'm not ready to teach you that. I have to work on it. So I want you to work with me. And that means we are not the tracers, we are the drawers. So now that I've, I've got it all blocked in, I'm going to finish off my picture using the black ink. So now as I add my dark lines, that's where I'm going to decide which arm is going to overlap which on my forearms and my biceps on the forearm. Any place where I haven't put the line in the right place, I can just adjust it now, can't I? I made mistakes all over the place, and I will just fix them now. That's the other advantage of using the guidelines. Bless you and all your errors. Bless you, bless you. Bless you, bless you, bless you. Yeah. You certainly don't try to sneeze, children. You'll blow your eyelids inside out. It's true. I saw it happen once to the cousin of a friend of somebody I once talked to on a bus. I wouldn't make that up. Chatting, you have time to draw another alien. You, know. you can draw the, the mama alien. Mama alien. Mom. You can tell the mama alien because she is larger and more empowered. All depends on whether she has time to go to the gym. Because she may be too busy taking this alien to his no. soccer practice. <laughs> That's too bad for her. Wait, aliens don't need soccer practice. Right. So I can take out my guidelines. Or if you like the way they look, you leave them in there. Present. I'm sorry? Oh, I would shade him. 
Absolutely, I would change. Yeah. <clears throat> Lee Ames doesn't use a lot of shading in his drawing lessons, but you can take everything you learned about shading while doing the Mark Kistler lessons, and you can add that in here. You remember with the bunny last week, he indicated the shading by putting in extra fur. Well, this this guy don't have no fur. You could make him furry if you wanted to, but generally what, what you might want to do is shade a little bit under these ridges in his armor. Put a little more shading under here. That will help. You definitely want to shade in here where he's got an opening where his arms come out. Oh, little marker, I'm afraid this is the end of the line for you. Little marker. how we did. successful drawing lesson. So thank you. I will see you in two weeks. What? Oh my goodness. He's not going to come next week. Why? Why? Uh, I like it. I like the way it turned out.